you've decided to share your journey uh, as a PA student on Instagram. So yeah. what inspired you to start that? You know, I'm, I'm a person who likes to share. It's good for me. I have the opportunity to share my experience. It's sort of cathartic. It's reflective. Um, and, and I get to look back and say, look how far I've come every single time. You, you really want a sense of community in this profession. So it's nice to be able to reach out to other people who are doing the same thing and who want to share as much as you do. You know, it feels like sometimes you're being put on display and you're, you're quite nervous about sharing things. You know, how do I caption this? Or, and they seem very vain at the time, but the, res the feedback that I've received um, has been nothing but positive and people love to spark up conversations or talk to me about it. And I've had people just in, like sort of message me of their own volition and ask me about the program and my experiences. And it's been, it's been very rewarding. You know, you asked me maybe what the difference was between being younger versus older in the program and what that's been like. I think I really want to share. How do you balance <laughs> capturing like the experience of being a PA student while also, you know, putting your best foot forward, respecting patient privacy. Like, how do you, yeah, how do you uh, toe that line? I personally separated myself um, because that's what I was comfortable with. So I have a personal account that I have for my home life and my personal life, um, but I also have a professional account, which is open and public. Um, the other one's private. Um, so it's open and public and I am meticulous about what I share on there. I edit it, I sit on it for half a day sometimes, and I don't post it um, because I am extremely aware of the consequences, good or bad, that can come with having an online presence. It not only is a huge responsibility for you to present yourself accordingly, because like I said, you can build community, which also builds you a reputation, good or bad, and it will follow you. It is a small community. Um, but you're also representing, you know, your school or um, another institution. You know, a lot of the things we do are through the Children's Hospital, the McMaster University Children's Hospital. And, um, you know, if I tag something that's on, you know, that we did on their premises, I want to make sure that that's something I'm allowed to do in the first place so that you know, nobody feels like I'm overstepping and I don't feel, you know, I don't feel bad if, if that were to happen. You know, I, don't, I don't ever wanna be in a position where somebody's saying to me, you shouldn't have done that, that wasn't respectful, you crossed the line. You know, if, if it ever did happen, I would hope somebody would say something to me so that I could rectify that. But, you know, having been as meticulous and conservative about what I do post has, I think, benefited me. Um, so what I like about our school and our program is that they try to make everything as sort of applicable as possible. So they pulled different like articles and um, had, you know, various platforms available for us to sort of talk about and um, talk about how we currently interact with them. I had sort of talked about some of the things that I said um, here with you now. And some of the things I think they wanted for us to take away were if you think you shouldn't post it, don't post it. Just don't do it. Don't risk it. Don't risk it for yourself. Image you want to provide on social media. That's sort of the thing the program wanted us to take away from it. We, you know, we worry about being cautious about everything that we put on there. That, you know, you don't want to almost be so robotic about it and not be relatable. So there's also that benefit of social media in that you get to be you, you have full control over it, it's, you know, you get the final say, you are the, you know, writer, the editor, the publisher, you have full, full control. So that's nice um, that the program showed us how much, um, you know, how, how empowered we can be with that experience and how many apps, like you were talking about, the figure one is available to be able to use those. We don't currently use them yet just because uh, we're not in that phase, but I'm sure it'll be coming very soon with this transition. Um, you know, anything else that they really wanted us to learn was other than be careful, other than, um, you know, present yourself as you'd like to be seen 
on your best day, not on your worst day, and, and take advantages of the unique opportunities that social media has to offer you. I feel like those are probably the best, the, the pillars of that lecture.